All right, y'all. Here we go. Y'all have been uh, jumping in to playing your first song, so I'm very, very happy for you. Thank you so much for watching some of these videos and getting some uh, progress done on some guitar playing. Hope you guys are smashing out your 20-hour goal of practice, so that's the dream. We're going to get there. Now, today's lesson is going to be pretty simple. We're going to be jumping in to what are the different kinds of picking that you're going to do um, right away. Uh, the different kinds of picking, since you're a beginner, do not stress super hard on like how I'm going to how am I going to get through all this kind of stuff. I'm going to give you some exercises um, for these things just to start building some, you know, a little bit of technique. Uh, I have a very strong rule uh, when it comes to exercises on the guitar, which is do not do exercises over playing music. Um, can't stress this enough. A lot of the times uh, beginners intermediate, even professionals will be really, really heavy in on technical things, um, building techniques, doing these different things. Um, and they are a hundred percent a requirement when it comes to playing the guitar. And, um, you definitely need to have good technique. Uh, it's just that sometimes that becomes the, like the dopamine hit of practice of like, Oh, I did all these scales. I did all this like a technique practice and then they don't go and practice the music. So just remember that Anytime we get into like technical stuff, that's about like 10% of what you need to be focusing your work on. So if you're practicing and you've only got like half an hour, just do like a three minute exercise and then spend the rest of the time applying those exercises to music or applying whatever you've learned that day into music and just really jumping into playing songs, being creative and doing that stuff with the guitar. So without further ado, I'm just going to give you a rundown on basically the beginner beginner ways that you can approach picking and um and attacking the guitar uh ferociously attacking the strings now from the get-go we've got two um techniques that we're going to go into right away uh which is the concept of staccato and legato so there are um, classical terms um staccato means like short and legato is long now when you're playing guitar uh where that applies to your picking is that uh, you will be having uh, staccato movements happening with your right hand, which is like stuff like that. And then legato movements is going to be where you're going to be using what we call like hammer on and pull off techniques, which sound a lot smoother. So it's pretty cool. Now, when we go into alternate, uh, when we go into picking and versing like going between staccato and legato, it's going to be up to you, preference, the sound that you're going for and things like that. But as a beginner, just to be aware that those two things exist. You've got whether you're going to be creating the, the movement of the rhythm. So basically these affect the rhythm of the notes. So the movement of the rhythm is either going to be affected by you picking it. So going one, two, three, or it's going to be a combination of you picking and then what we call hammer on or pulling off. So you're smacking down with your finger or you're pulling off with your finger to create the rhythm movement. So I could either do picking, one, two, three, or I could do hammer on, one, two, three. So you can see how there's a little bit of a tone difference between the two. Um, and so that's basically the only difference between legato and staccato. One smooth, one short. Now, when we're jamming on this, uh, just be aware that that's the things that are going to happen as a beginner. You're going to be trying to alternate single lines is going to be a bit of like, oh, do I use a picking thing or do I use a hammer on thing? So you see, I use the slide there. That's another one you can do, but there's a bit more intermediate stuff that we're going to get into in the future. So at the beginning, we just want to get a feel for what it's like to pick on the guitar and what it's like to hammer on on the guitar um, and pull off on the guitar because those are the kind of like your bread and butter, your bass signature things. Now, the other step that we got is we've got finger picking. So we're going to just eliminate the pick altogether. And then you've got your finger picking. So that'll be where you can start doing a bunch of other cool stuff, you know, signature like... Or like a bit of a country, like... So that's, that's where you got finger picking. And that's where you're typically going to be using your thumb for 
thumb for bass notes and then your fingers for the upper notes. And so it's a pretty fun, pretty fun little combination of the two. So as a beginner, that's what your your like kind of your realm of picking is going to be. Now there's other things that you're going to see me do, and there's a bit more advanced stuff, uh, which we're going to go into later in the course. But just to give you a little bit of a sneak peek into what you can also do with the guitar is um, if you ever see me playing, majority of the time you're going to see me hold a pick like I this, exactly how we showed you earlier in the course. And then I finger pick at the same time. Um, and this is what we call hybrid picking. So this is where I will go. So you can see I'm using my fingers and I'm using my pick. So obviously that's more advanced. Um, but in the future, you can be aware of these kind of techniques and you can start applying them um, and just even having fun with them. Other ones that I like is like sweeping, which is not something that I do, but um, it's like, so you, you're moving through like arpeggio shapes, but I'm not very good at it. <laughs> Me trying to sweep. <laughs> but anyway, those are the basic ones. Uh, I'm going to jump into a video on uh, doing some like uh, alternate picking exercises and hammer on exercises, and then we'll do a finger picking exercise. And then that can be like a bit of your finger, like your, your picking practice if you want to, you know, start honing in on it. And then once we finish this beginner portion of the course, we'll be doing our intermediate part. So this is as much technical stuff that I want you to do. And then after that, we're going to be just playing some songs, strumming, doing that kind of stuff. I want you to build a feeling for playing through songs, which is something that is not really trained a lot. A lot of times people have like these little snack bites of what they need to do. And um, I really want you guys to understand that these techniques that we, that I do, things like that, they are great and they are fantastic. You want to learn them. They are just not the thing that really drives huge musical growth um, at the beginning. And so that's what I want you guys to all get. Anyway, catch you guys in the next video.